hello and welcome back to another tutorial on training a model in pytorch in this video we'll discuss how to define a model okay how to use optimizers loss functions and finally we'll discuss the training loop we'll cover other remaining things like validation loop and other stuff and in the next video now let's start with the first thing that is how to define a model in pytorch for this exercise we are using google collab so you can use google collab by just searching for google collab on google and by just opening it now we are you have to open a new notebook you will have notebook like this now you can rename this notebook as the name whichever you want to give it train a model in PyTorch. Okay. Now let's start with this. So as we are using PyTorch, so we have to import the model or modules of Torch. That is import PyTorch. के लिए हमें करना पड़ेगा import Torch. And for importing neural networks or the module of neural networks, we have to import. Torch dot nn as nn. We are importing something with the alias name so that we have to write just this nn all the times rather than writing this completely. Okay. Now let's see what is happening over here. Now import is completed successfully. Okay. Now what we'll do. the first thing is how to define a model in pytorch okay so let's start with that define a model in pytorch okay we can define models using various methods but we will be discussing two methods over here that is method 1 is by just directly creating the model like we are creating model is equal to nn dot sequential and this okay so this sequential function is there in torch dot nn so we have used nn as we have imported torch dot nn with the alias name nn now we'll be defining our model the first layer of our model will be nn dot linear will be flattening out our input and will be using linear layer with dimension 28 into 28 as we are focusing on mnist data set so mnist mnist data set contains an image with 28 height and 28 width so total number of pixels will be 28 into 28 so our first layer will be having 28 into 28 neurons and these 28 into 28 neurons will be connected to another 256 neurons okay after this we have to put a comma then we are using an activation function that is relu activation which is known as rectified linear unit you can see various tutorials are available for rectified linear unit okay if you are unable to get those things then you can comment below down and we can make a different or a separate video for explaining the relu now nn dot linear over here will be having the previous layer and the next layer so in the previous layer we were having 256 outputs so this number will be 256 and in the next layer the output depends on us so we are mapping 256 neuron with 64 neurons now we are again using relu so nn dot relu after which we are using nn dot linear and in nn dot linear what we are doing just see over here that 
in this this side of linear will be having the number of neurons from the or the previous number of neurons or number of neurons in the previous layer so that is 64 but in the last layer you have to put neurons which will be equal to the number of classes you want to have or number of neurons you want to have in the final stage so mnist data set requires 10 number of neurons as the numbers are 0 to 9 in mnist data set okay so just try to run this cell so successfully then this cell so we have created a model using this now we want to discuss another method for creating a model so another method for creating a model is using class okay we can use a class to create a model so we are naming this as this class as my model and in this class we are just passing n and dot module okay so this class will be having a init function with self then it will be using super dot in it then we'll define the number of layers we want to have in this class okay so let's see self dot l1 we are naming a layer as l1 what will be that layer that layer will be nn dot linear which will be 28 into 28 comma 256 uh, second layer will be uh, we are naming the second layer as l2 is equal to n n dot linear 256 comma 64 and the third layer is self dot l3 is equal to n n dot linear 64 comma 10 okay now we are adding a dropout over here so dropout dropout is equal to n n dot dropout uh, 0.1 now we have defined the number of layers we want to have in a model with a separate name so that we can use it in the forward pass so let's define the function forward over here so def forward self comma x where x will be the input okay so now k1 is equal to nn dot functional dot value we are applying value on something okay so but now at what thing we are applying value so this is the starting layer this is associated with the starting layer so uh, we'll be passing you will be using l1 over here why l1 over here because self dot uh, self dot l1 because l1 is taking input is l1 is only compatible with the input so we are using self dot l1 over here and in that we are passing x now k what cable will be containing cable will be containing the numerical output from this l1 layer after applying the ReLU over x first we will be applying l1 layer after applying that l1 layer we will be applying the ReLU function over there and that will be contained by k1 the output will be con contained by the k1 after k1 what we want to have what we want to achieve we want to apply l2 so we can apply l2 using this self dot l2 and at which thing we are want to apply l2 
since L2 is compatible with L1 and we have applied L1 over K1 so we can apply L2 over K1 okay but we want to do ReLU also over it so we are using nn dot functional dot ReLU and this okay now we want to apply dropout so dropout will be self dot dropout and the layer we want to apply dropout at so we are applying dropout at k1 and k2 k2 plus k1 now at the end we are taking we want to have the output so y hat will be equal to self dot l3 we are applying l3 to have our output and we are applying l3 over dropout okay so from this forward we are returning return y hat as we are interested in y hat that is the output from the model now model 1 is equal to my model this is how we can create okay we are having a typing error over here like this we can have some typos over here or we can have some typos in the code as it is the issue with keyboard okay my model is not defined class my model and dot module model one okay so this should be over here so now it should run finally okay now using this we have created another model now the next step is the loss function okay so now we'll discuss loss function we can have various types of loss function or we do have various loss functions in PyTorch predefined loss functions you can create your own loss function you can propose your own loss function by just some mathematical background and with the practice and your knowledge you have these are basic loss functions available in PyTorch module we have nn dot l1 loss msc loss means squared error loss cross entropy connection temporal classification loss negative log likelihood loss poison log likelihood gaussian log likelihood scale, scale divergence vc and similarly we do have various other losses each and every loss function can be used in different different kind of scenarios so we are simply using cross entropy loss in our application so for using cross entropy loss we are using loss is equal to nn dot cross entropy loss now just run this cell so by this we are simply using oh no, we have to function put the function braces over here so by using this we are using loss function another important aspect of training is an optimizer okay so now we'll discuss optimizers or we'll discuss about optimizers so we can use optimizer using from torch we want to import optim we can use optim we can use this command to import a specific thing from a whole library okay or we can uh, use we can just put star over here to import something so now my notebook knows what optim basically is so params 
is equal to model or we can have model 1 so let's see first for model parameters okay now since so just tell me what is the use of optimizer optim dot stochastic gradient descent comma learning rate is equal to 1 e minus 2 so the basic function of optimizer is to ha have or is to optimize the algorithm and give us the best values for the parameters okay so by this we have just used stochastic gradient descent directly from tolls.optim so let's see this we can use other optimizations apart from stochastic gradient descent and for that we can cross refer with torch.optim that is official documentation of pytorch or what we can do we can just propose our own optimizer and use it okay but for application purposes for using something for practice purposes you can just refer to pytorch documentation and over that documentation you can just check what optimizers are over here so per parameter options taking and step optimization algorithm and other stuff is over here so we are interested in saying where is different different kind of optimizers so just say this this is ADA delta algorithm optimizer it have, has been proposed in this paper we can have ADA grade, we can have Adam optimizer, we can have Adam W optimizer, sparse Adam optimizer, Adam X optimizer, average stochastic gradient descent optimizer, and various other optimizers are available. You can use any optimizer, whichever optimizer you want. So now over here we are using simply stochastic gradient descent, SGD from which we are trying to optimize our parameters using a learning rate given by this okay so this was about optimizer if you want to propose your own optimizer then you can just propose your optimizer and define that using a function and simply call that fun uh, save that function in a variable and use your thing now the further next step is train and validation split before the training loop, we are discussing train and validation split because without data, we cannot train something or we cannot train a data driven model without any data. So as we are discussing things in respect of MNIST data set, so we have to import or we have to just use MNIST data, uh, MNIST data set. So what we are doing, we are simply using from torch vision torch vision okay we are importing data sets as data sets are available in torch vision so we are using this now train data is equal to data sets dot mnist so data comma train is equal to true comma download is equal to true comma we want to transform this into a tensor so transform so transform is equal to transforms dot to tensor so we have to import this transforms as well for this we are using date import from torch vision transforms trans 
okay now we have data we want to split this data using the random split so we have to import random split as well so from torch dot utils dot data import import random split random split so we want to split our data into train comma well using random split train data comma into 55,000 and test or validation data will have 5,000 so now we have our train and test data we want to load this data into a variable so train loader is equal to data loader train comma batch size is equal to 32 so we have as we are using data loader over here so we have to import a data loader as well so import data loader as well now after this well loader validation loader is equal to data loader well comma batch size is equal to 32 so just run this so this is downloading our data set from a remote server so downloading is done now let's have the training loop now at the final step of this video which is the training loop so in the training loop we what we have to do we need to perform various iterations over our complete data set and those things are known as epochs so we have to perform number of epochs number of epochs so we can restrict our number of epochs using this so we are using 20 epochs now for each epoch in range number of epochs what we want to have for each batch each training batch in train loader each thing in train loader x comma y will be equal to batch x will be of size x the size of x will be batch size cross channel channel of the image cross height of the image cross width of the image so what we want to do we want to have this into a linear we have to pass all this thing to a linear layer so what we are doing x dot size of 0 and x is equal to x dot view b minus 1 now what it will do for the complete batch it will have 32 28 into 28 
into one linear or number of inputs now what we'll do or what we'll have will perform forward so what forward will do forward will calculate y hat y hat from model we are passing our input x to the model after uh, having the output from the model we want to compute the loss function that what loss our model is producing so compute the objective function or loss function compute the objective function j is equal to loss y hat comma y after this we want to have cleaning the gradient we want to clean the gradient as if we do not clean the gradient what will what can happen we have to clean the gradient using model dot zero grad if you won't clean the gradient what it will do it will just keep the previous gradients along with it and use the next the gradient from next epoch or next batch and add it with the previous gradients we want we do not want that so that we are using or we are cleaning the gradient and we are using zero grad so another thing is accumulation accumulation or accumulating partial differentiation partial derivative with respect to all the parameters from j so j dot backward now what we'll do optimizer step optimizer dot step so losses dot append is j dot item so we are appending something to losses so we have to create a list naming losses over here we have to create a list over here for losses and after from that list what we will do we will just have average of these losses to print so we want to print something after each epoch so print in a format with epoch and where epoch plus one comma train loss is we want to have j dot mean but as we are working with tensors so what we'll do we'll use torch dot tensor j and we'll have mean of this mean of this and colon we want to have precision two floating points okay now let's try to run this okay we have something over here yeah now we are having some error okay in transforming to tensor so in train loader somewhat over here we are having some error okay we have to put a function now let's see this it should run fine yeah it is running fine now so the training process is going on this is how you can train a model in PyTorch we have used MNIST digit classification you can use any other data set for 
image classification or any other task okay this is a basic code for running a model if you want to run a more advanced model then you need to code them accordingly and after that you have to run it running processor will be same you have to write a training loop you have to write something which is a model a loss function and optimizer and after that you have to run and check whether it is training or not so over here you can see what is the train loss that a loss is decreasing so it is going on fine so you can check out more videos or more content like this on this channel so for that you can like share and subscribe thank you for watching see you in the next video